Is cooking in the oven really better than the microwave? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. If you want your mythical gifts to arrive before Christmas, the last day to order from the Mythical Store domestically with standard shipping for guaranteed arrival on December 25th is today. Go to mythical.com for all your last minute holiday shopping. And today we want to recognize Perry Spencer. No, he's not our new intern. He's the man who made the man who invented Bagel Bites rich. I'm talking about the inventor of the microwave. Microwaves cook food miraculously fast, but the general assumption is that they do not make food miraculously tasty. Uh -huh. You gotta throw it in the oven if you want that. Or do you? That's the question. Are the extra minutes it would take to cook things in an oven truly worth waiting for? Is the oven superior to the microwave? Or are we fools to question the work of Mr. Perry, Perry Spencer? Spencer? It's time for Worth the Wait Late Night Snack Edition. And we wanna give a shout out to mythical beast K-Dog Woody who pitched this idea that we're doing for this episode in the comments. See, we read the comments and we do the ideas. Sometimes. <laughs> Okay, K-Dog, we have decided to test late night snacks. Each round we're gonna taste one item that's been prepared both by the microwave and the conventional oven, and then we'll try to guess which one was cooked in the oven. Yeah, we'll find out if we're right, and then we'll decide if the oven version is really worth the wait. Yes. In the end, the winner will win a microwave from David Hill. Oh, thank you, Dave. I could use a new microwave. Round one. As you can see, we can't. And what you're not seeing is bagel bites, mm. which is arguably my favorite late night snack. Is that right? Oh. To make eight of these, it would take one minute and 45 seconds in the microwave or 14 minutes at 425 degrees in the oven. So taste away, fellas. Okay, that's a good bagel bite. I've actually never had a bagel bite. Well, you have now. Huh, where have I been biting that bagels haven't been? Oh, this is easy, man. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm inclined to base it on the rubberiness of the of the bread in one of them versus the crunchiness in the other one. No, but you can't rely on that too much. No, no, that's not a good indicator. But besides link. that, the taste is pretty similar otherwise. And I kind of like things more chewy. Because you're a, a strange man. But Are I'm not choosing to... which I like more yet. I'm choosing the oven one, right? Yeah, so you're gonna put your hand over the one you think is in the oven or came from the oven in three, two, one. Boop. It's gotta be this one. You are both hey, correct. Really you may remove your blindfolds. Oh, and they look totally different. Hence the blindfolds. They got a little crispy. I mean, I know um, you like you like chewy stuff, but I'm just telling you, crispy bread, man. Like this is what the average person yeah. would prefer, right? I mean, if you're gonna toast a bagel, you want it to have a little. A they're little so heft. They're they're so different because the bread product. And I think that's really what really sends it over the top is the fact that you got one whole It's not whole that this is horrible. Bread. 12 minutes, 15 seconds, plus preheat time in the oven adds even more time, but I mean, we're, we're, it's still less than 15 yeah, but minutes. you could read a book, you could, there's lots of little things you could do during that 12 minutes. So are the Bagel Bites worth the extra 12 minutes and 15 seconds plus preheat time with the oven? Yes! yes. Uh, because of the bread. Because of the bread. That's what you said. Round two. Before you, you have Tyson hot wings. Oh, I could smell these for a minute. Oh, oh, I'm that's trying to not a wing, that's six a finger. That's of me, these man. take oh. about four to five minutes in the microwave or 18 to 20 minutes oh. at 400 degrees in the oven. We enjoy these at my house. Mm -hmm. And I've done them both ways. Have you? Uh huh. Ooh, that's a tasty wing. So I feel like, oh yeah. I feel like I know the difference here. I feel like one of these is dramatically better than the other one. Dramatically. And I'm emphatically pointing at the one that's better, mm. which I'm gonna vote for. And I'm now I'm pointing at the other guy who's probably gonna vote for the same thing because I feel like this is obvious. This Just one. FYI, Rhett has like cleaned all of the meat off of his bones <laughs> in a way that is very impressive. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Dude, you are, you are, a food eating maniac. I can't man. help it, man. You put a wing in the rester's mouth and it's gonna come back bones. <laughs> All right, hands over the ovened wings in three, two, one. It's gotta be this. Yeah, 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 yeah. brother. There you yeah, are. Yeah, you guys yeah. are both right. You can remove I mean, your blindfolds. Hey, 
Th this is dramatically I mean, different. Oh gosh. If you order a wing from like a like a pizza joint, you know like how Domino's and them other places, they'll wrap them in foil. Them other places, man. And then they'll deliver it to your house and it's just soggy. In fact, this almost seems gross. It's just spongy and you, there's no crisp to it at all. If you're starving and it's like 1 a.m. and you can't wait fit 16 minutes, maybe. But no, I, I would wait. Think. I'd wait half an hour. I'd wait half an hour too. I'd wait 45 no, minutes. No, I would not wait more than okay, 29 minutes. Okay, 32 minutes. In 59 32 seconds. 32 minutes. But the, but the prescribed 16 minute additional wait uh, is totally worth it, right? Yes. Tyson hot wings worth the extra 14 to 16 minutes? Yes. yes. And I'm okay. These need to be thrown out. Round three. Next up, we have El Monterey beef and cheese taquitos. Oh, taquitos. These take one minute and 15 seconds in the microwave or 12 minutes at 400 degrees in the oven. They're long. Longer than I thought. Taquitos have gotten longer. That is a good snack, y'all. Lots of things in the world are getting worse. But taquitos, taquitos are, are getting, getting longer. longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, I'm feeling you. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what that means. Things are looking up. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, hold on a second now. This is not immediately obvious. Well, yeah, it is. Okay, uh, it is now that I took a bite. <laughs> right. I mean, it just seems that you can't match the Christmas. <laughs> and uh, what are you laughing at? Christmas? Christmas, Christmas. Is it Christmas? Crispness at Christmas that you can in the oven in a microwave. Yeah, mm-hmm. But you know what? I think there's a big question mark on the back end of this one. Okay, I, th I think I know where you're going, but let's guess first. Hands over the oven, three, two, one. Hey, yeah, goes. you guys are nailing this one. Okay. Um, yeah, put your, interestingly put your, yeah, enough, those glasses on. We gotta. Interestingly, well, I gotta see. <laughs> well, you're gonna make fun of me for having to see. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying it was like when I it, I didn't think about the fact that you've been blindfolded, and it was like a man getting ready to read like something. <laughs> it was like, all right, I gotta dig in here. I mean, I can see without it, but um, they don't look that much different, but they. They're, they're considerably crunchier. And there's a 10 minute, 45 second differential here. And when I tasted this one first, it made me happy. And if I didn't have this to go to and compare it to, I'm just saying I was in a happy zone. Are you saying that the crisp of a taquito is not as important as its length? <laughs> Which is the same in either way. Right. Let me ask you this. How many taquitos could you eat in 11 minutes? Because in the time- How many come in a box? <laughs> right. You could eat the whole thing in the time you'd be waiting. I could get through a box. So am I swaying your opinion because- Here's what I'll say. It's not as good. A crispy taquito is something that should be enjoyed at least fortnightly. But the other nights. But man, this isn't, a, this isn't, yeah, this isn't about crispiness. This is about getting that taquito in your mouth and going to bed. And you know why? <laughs> because Chewing, it's, chewing first. It's like the difference between a um, a crunchy taco and a soft taco. It's so, not. It's a not soft bad. taco. It's still a legit right. thing. A soft, uncrispy wing is nasty. Nasty. But, but right. tortilla is good either it's, way. It's a soft taco. Are these taquitos worth the extra ten minutes and forty five seconds? No. <sighs> oh yeah, no. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Round four. You guys have some Orida tater tots in front of you. Oh, tater tots. All right. tots. A All full right. bag takes about three and a half minutes to microwave or 25 minutes at 450 degrees in the oven. That's a big differential. Oh gosh, what's happening over there? They're stuck together over here. Not that that would tell you anything. Mm. Okay. Mm. Huh. So what, what brand are these, Josh? Uh, that is a Orida brand tater tots. It's actually the only brand in the world that can use the term tater tot. What? Seriously? Yeah. So you'll see competitors using terms like tater crowns or golden rounds. T t tater what rounds? Tater tot is exclusive to Orida? All right, I'm ready to vote. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Yep. These, these there you are, are again. From the Nailed oven. it. Yep. Um, yeah, it's, it's easy to tell, but, but hold again. On. Hold on a second. Listen. This is something's weird happens. <laughs> right. I can't, I just, I messed up two parts of that sentence because there's a lot happening in my brain right now. These are very clearly from the oven and they're crispy, but they don't taste good. 
These are mushy, kind of stuck together. They taste more potato. -y. They taste better. Did you know that? Uh, I, I'm actually a, a tater tot microwave evangelist myself. So really? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, but well, what's happening? There's something scientifically. They happening. taste more like they taste more legit potato. Did it's you... like it was something was revealed. Something in the tater tot was trying to hide was revealed in yeah. the oven. You're losing too much moisture in the oven when it all kind of steams together. That's the magic. It's moisture. These are too dry. That's what's happening. Yeah. Now, I might wait 21 extra minutes for the microwave. I, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I think, what about refrying? Is that legit? Uh, it is legit, but I'd say let them thaw. Again, I eat a lot of tater tots. Let them thaw <laughs> before you refry them, otherwise they get too dark. All right, so are these tater tots worth the extra 21 minutes and 30 seconds? No. Absolutely not. The microwave is better. Unless you want to do like a frying thing, which we're not talking about. Yeah, who's that? Round five. Finally, we have broccoli and cheddar hot pockets. Ooh. One of these takes about two to three minutes to microwave or 28 minutes at 350 degrees in the oven. Why, Why? is this one so short? I, are you, have you halved them? Oh, they've been halved so they've you can bite halved. right into the cross section. Oh, thank you, okay. Um, and Rhett, we're going for the queen sweep, double queen sweep. I stink too, boy. That is a stinky <laughs> treat. This is a bad flavor, y'all. Does anybody eat these hot pockets? I mean, listen. I do. <laughs> yeah. There's like 473 flavors of hot pockets. It almost tastes like fish. And I think there are 472 better than the one that you chose. These are my favorite hot pockets. It's, what? Yeah. It's nasty. I like I've it. Lost I've lost all respect for you, Josh. <laughs> I'll say one of them is marginally acceptable, and the other one is just nastiness personified and pockified. I'm ready uh, to vote. Ugh. Okay. You ready to vote? Three, yep. Two, one. For the queen sweep. There yes, we agree. Are we right? You have done it. Woo! All right. Okay. Now, thanks listen. for the applause, guys. Queen sweeps don't happen every day. I said you have done it in a big way. But here's the thing. Um, is it worth the wait? And I gotta say, I'm definitely having a difficult time making this decision because I hate both of them. It's almost half an hour for something that is still nasty. What if it was a Hot Pocket that was worth eating, you know? What if Josh had decided to give us a different flavor of Hot Pocket? <laughs> like doing. one that doesn't have like, Satan's stalk in it? Satan's stalk. That's something else. Um, Broccoli. But the home, we're also talking about 26 to 27 minutes. I yeah. mean, that is like, that's a television show. I mean, like, you know, a half hour comedy. <laughs> um, are you willing to sit around for that long? That's a long time. In 2019, 26 to 27 minutes. That's a long time to wait. Absolutely not. If it's, it did get marginally better, but. And it, it isn't like this isn't crispy. What you know what I'm saying? Like, because they have that special pocket that makes it crispy. When I bit, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that crisping thing. sleeve. When I bit into this, crisping sleeve. I wasn't immediately sure that it was from the microwave. It was when I bit that that I knew it was from the oven. Yep. So are hot pockets worth the extra almost half an hour? No, no not a chance. Absolutely not. And here, here's the news flash. We got the queen sweep, both of us. So we both win our microwave from David Hill. Come on out, David. David bring you us got, those right, microwaves. got the microwaves. You saw it? You see? Listen, I feel ripped off. <laughs> Thank you, David. Okay, uh, that, 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 that wasn't worth it, <laughs> let me just say. But we also, what we did also learn today is that the only two things that we tasted that are worth the weight in the oven are the bagel bites and the wings, mm -hmm. with the wings being especially worth the wait. The other stuff you can get by with a microwave. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Spider-Man. I'm in Iceland right now, so it's pretty cold, but it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Never seen him in a turtleneck like that. Or with that accent. Click the top link to watch us debate if an item should be reheated or not and give it a little more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Keep us close to your heart with our mythical necklaces. Available now at mythical.com.